Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Blackburn, the game director for Destiny 2. I'm sure with the announcement today that the final shape is coming out on June 4th, there are a lot of questions on, hey, what's the team working on? What's the content that's coming out uh, before June? So I wanted to step by uh, down here in the stream room today and drop by with some classic Joe handwritten notes and talk about what we're doing between now and June. I think this is gonna be a pretty short video, so I wanna get right into it. Let's start with the obvious stuff. Tomorrow, Season of the Wish launches. We're super excited, not only about the story and the content of this season, but how it's going to roll into the final shape. So I hope the small army of you out there with your Last Wish raid jackets are wearing them with pride. I know I will be. Then, on Friday, we've got Warlord's Ruin. It's a new dungeon coming to Destiny 2 that I would love to talk to you all about, but because I'm at the studio, I'm like a, a little worried that someone from the Raiden Dungeon team is gonna hear me and like come barreling through the door. So we'll let you all see that for yourselves. Speaking of group content, let's talk Fireteam Finder real quick. Uh, recently, we put out some messaging on how Fireteam Finder is gonna roll out. I just wanted to give a little more context here. I don't think this is hyperbole when I say, I think Fireteam Finder is going to change the way so many of you interact with Destiny 2 on a day-to-day -day basis. That being said, it's a pretty big technical change to the game. So we wanna be really careful with how we roll this out. We're gonna be doing limited windows with limited activities to start. This is gonna allow us to collect the data we need, take it on, see how server stability is affected, take it off, make changes, and then roll it out better and better each time. Ultimately, what we're gonna be working towards is a version of Fireteam Finder that you can use for raids, dungeons, strikes, PVP, whatever you want that needs a group uh, in the new year and right before the final shape. PVP, so last time we talked a bunch about PVP, I just wanted to give an update on where we are. We've got a uh, Crucible Labs mode that we've been experimenting a lot with called Checkmate. We're gonna do two things with Checkmate this year. We're gonna take Checkmate and put it onto the core Crucible playlists. It's gonna be like 6v6 control unranked. We wanna see how the checkmate rules that we've been experimenting with interact with a larger Crucible ecosystem. But ultimately, what we're trying to do with checkmate is not create a third or a fourth way to play the game. Checkmate is all about a more deliberate Crucible. So we wanna take the rule changes for checkmate, be this slower ability recharge rate or you know, different rules around special ammo. We wanna find the stuff that's working and we wanna start porting those rule changes over into the core Destiny 2 Crucible. This is about creating a Crucible that is more strategic, is more focused on your guns, and is more focused on the loadout that you're bringing in to fight with. Speaking of Crucible, let's talk maps. Um, so not only do we have the Citadel coming to Destiny 2 this week, we also are still cranking out uh, maps for the map pack that we talked about early this year. This is going to be coming out in the new year all at once. We've got three maps, one on Europa, one on Neomuna, and one on the Terraform Pyramid. I actually got a chance to play test these again yesterday. Um, I'm really excited about all of them. I think I did the best on the Europa map, but right now I think Neomuna is trending to be the sort of internal favorite. Really excited to see how all these get built and continued over development. Um, really uh, excited for them to get in your hand. They're all sort of uh, JAV4 size. So we know we've been putting out a lot of larger maps. We wanna put out maps that are gonna be able to really excel in modes like Trials of Osiris and the competitive playlist to really balance out both these larger experiences and more uh, you know, close quarters experiences as well. Ultimately, this is not everything that we're doing in PVP. So keep your ear out for socials. We're trying to make sure that the Destiny 2 Crucible is built for those folks that love to log on and play Destiny PvP every single day. All right, let's see what's on page two here. I think the big question in everyone's mind is, okay, but Season of the Wish content is gonna roll out. Talk to me about February through June. So starting in February, we're gonna be rolling out more content that's available to anyone who plays Destiny 2. It's gonna start slow in February with things like Moments of Triumph and a series of progression, reward-centric weekly quests we're calling wishes. I'll let the folks on Reddit theorize on what they think these wishes could be. Then in March, we're gonna be pulling Guardian games in, and this year it's got a revitalized focus on this sort of class v class competition that we think really is gonna accelerate the creative and the excitement around the event. But ultimately, we're trying to get towards April and May 
we're going to be talking about a, a new period of Destiny we're calling Destiny 2 Into the Light. Now, as we get closer uh, to, to Into the Light, we're going to be talking more about it in the new year. But this is really built not only for the folks that have played Destiny for 5,000 hours, but also for your friends, for your family, for people that are just getting into Destiny and want to prepare for the final shape. We're really excited about the content and rewards that are coming in this. So like, please stay tuned. We'll be talking more about what's happening in these sort of two months before the final shape as we get closer to them. But all of that aside, what most of the team is working on right now is what's coming out in June, the final shape. We know there are high expectations for the way that we're going to put a bow on this 10-year saga of Destiny 2. We know that y'all are expecting awesome, gorgeous new locations, a bunch of new stuff to fight, and a bunch of new ways to fight it, all alongside a story that has to stand side by side with some of the best stories our studio has ever told. I'm gonna be honest. We've been holding some cards close to our chest on this one. And I'm going to ask that you bear with us for a little bit longer because we think a bunch of the systems and the gameplay that we want to talk about are things that you need to see, not just here. So in April, when we come back with gameplay from the final shape, we want the game to speak for itself. All right, I promised I wouldn't take as long this time. Uh, I've got a bunch of play tests to run to. So thanks so much for spending uh, some time with me this morning. I am going to see all of y'all this week in Season of the Wish. Uh, thanks again.